Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Goo to You. Today we have made it over to Lakeland, Florida for a really exciting day. And of course our first stop has to be none other than the Lakeland Antique Mall here. This is great. If you guys don't know, the Lakeland Antique Mall is the antique mall and they get a lot of like Disney World, Universal theme park props. Yeah, yeah. So we're here to check out everything to buy some useless junk, mm -hmm. as I like to say. So I don't know what we're gonna do here today. It'll be great. I don't know, maybe we'll find a ride vehicle or two. Maybe <laughs> we'll find some other props. Either way, we're gonna go in, we're gonna look around, and then who knows what else we'll get into around here. There's there's a lot to do in Lakeland. We haven't been to Lakeland very much, so we're just gonna have a good day, see where we end up. And I think we'll just start here. And starting off here, they claim they have vintage furniture, home decor, and antiques. Look, there's a ride vehicle right there. Yeah, that, that's like a, the rocket. So we're just gonna go in here. This looks like it's a true place for a goo. I think this will be good. This store is absolutely massive. You can see they kind of like mark it with different leathers. The only leathers we really care that much about is gonna be A and B, which is the back left corner of the store. That's where all the, um, the theme park stuff is, the Disney Universal stuff. I've walked around here before. I haven't really found much that I care about outside of there. So we're probably just gonna focus on that for now. So if you come to this back left corner of the store over here, it's pretty much all the Disney Universal stuff. Like I said, they do have other stuff in here, but this is the section we want. I feel like we just need to look in, find things, and I guess we'll just start shopping. Look at these cups back here. <laughs> just Spirit of Aloha dinner show. This is only $10. Yeah. This is great. You have all kinds of different like painting and arts from hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. I, this is so much fun. Look, that's the um, Pop Century. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> from behind the bed. They also have one of the lamps here that used to be in the boardwalk. This is pretty cool. Oh, this is a loose. $325 for that. Everything that's changed, every room that's been changed is pretty much all the old furniture is here. Yeah. Which, which is great. That's the um, Yacht Club original. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They still have a good amount of stuff from Shrek 4D back here. It's all kind of expensive. They have the glasses. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a couple glasses. Yeah, yeah. But look, you can buy like all the art, all the things on the wall. Mm -hmm, from the queue. You can buy the giant Shrek. Gosh, yeah. Look at that. I still really want one of these banners that were hanging in the queue, <laughs> the green ones, but they're like, I think $300, which 300, really isn't that bad. It's not bad, but like, it's $300. Yeah. But they have all kinds of other things here, like from Horror Nights and everything. Yeah. So lots of really fun props. It, it's great because every time you come here, like, it's it's been a couple months, but since I've come here, they've added so many things. Look, they have one of these signs from when there was social distancing, physical distancing, six feet. $70 for that. I feel like you could frame that and it'll be like a piece of history. Look at these plates from the Grand Floridian. <laughs> 40, $35. Oh. You have a young clip too, that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. All kinds of different styles and lots of them. So if you want to completely replace your plates with that. You could turn your entire house into a different room from a hotel here. Here's some art from the Contemporary as well before they turn them into the um, incredible rooms, I think. Oh, they were used in the presidential and vice presidential suites. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I guess, are, the, are those suites now Incredibles now? Probably, I guess so. Look at this, this is from the Pirates Rooms yeah. over at Caribbean Beach. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like resort things. So much art here though, this is great. There's Boardwalk, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Look, that was from the Wave at the Contemporary, which was where um, Steakhouse 71 is right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. The thing was, I remember going to the Wave, every single time I'd go, I see like that art on the wall of all that fruit. Yeah, I think that kind of thing is cooler because like, Everyone saw it. Yeah, like if you get something from a room, you don't know which room it was like, from, but that's unique. from. That's something that like you could remember. I remember it. It was ninety dollars, a little too much that I want to spend now, but that's incredible. Like you never know what you'll run into here. We got some Shrek classes. This is great. I love this place. I also love over here. They have seaweed. Yeah. From the twenty thousand leagues under the sea. I think we have some of it. Yeah. But this is like in a nice display, framed with a picture. This is pretty cool. They had this as part of the vault collection, but I think this is like the. The original one, maybe? I remember having one of these a long time ago, back when they had them. Oh, man. <laughs> $55, but... That, that's cool. It's for the 60th anniversary, so... Yeah. For Fantasmic in Disneyland, the seating is much worse. Yeah, so they yeah. need more cushioning, but yeah. Matt doesn't like the seating here. We need the cushions yeah. here, yeah. $55, that's pretty fun. This is incredible. This is like one of the um, DVD holders they have at like Walmarts. Yeah. So like it has like the Disney for like the Disney section, so you can put all your Disney movies in it. This is this is three hundred fifty dollars. That'd be cool. We could um, like fill all the movies we have in that thing. All the movies, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what it. It's from Food and Wine. Yeah. 
I feel like all the time on the cruise line pages, people ask about these blankets and they say, <laughs> how much will it cost to like, just take it? Like how much are they going to charge <laughs> if I take it? Well, here you can come here and it's $98 here. Well, that's not bad. So, there you go. You can also find some like newer merchandise or like newer things. They have the Timon zipper here. But they're like all scratched up. I yeah. guess $15 so you're getting yeah. it. That's not discount, terrible. Yeah. yeah. But everything they have from old to new with these spoons and by spoons, you never know what you'll find here. But look at this. This is the outfit that they wore at Trails End. Oh, before. So I don't know if they still wear this or if this is like older outfit, but that's pretty cool for $195. You also have some like old guide maps, which are pretty cool too. Is this say from? what year it's from 2001. Wow. Oh, this is great. Yeah. That, that's so much fun. This, this is great. There's so many things here. You could, I, I'm not joking. You could spend hours walking around here. This is incredible. I feel oh, like they man. used to sell these. Yeah, it's like yeah. the toy set of the contemporary. And you can get, they have like the um, electric monorail. Yeah. You can still get that. So, I don't so know, maybe this would go with it, I don't know. So it's 90, 95 I feel like isn't terrible. I feel like if they sold it these days, it'd be $95. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go, that was pretty cool. They had some good stuff in there. We got not too much useless junk, just a couple things. I just got some 3D glasses. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I think we did pretty good. I'll say though, Although all that shopping, although all that excitement has definitely left me with an appetite. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't really know this area too well, but we searched for one of the best rated places around here and found Mr. Pollo. Mr. Pollo Mexican Grill, I think it's called. There's like a, a duck on the sign. It's so, a chicken. Yeah, Mr. Pollo is a nice guy. A duck. I don't know what it is, but either way, it sounds good and I'm hangry. So you want to go eat? I, I want to, I'm going to go eat for my sake before Mac gets angry at me. Yeah. So we'll go from there. I don't know if this place is the chain or whether it is. I couldn't find any others and they don't have a website, but it looks pretty good. This place actually looks very good. The ratings appear to have not let us down. You pretty much order your food here. But like, from what I understand, the food looks like sit down, sit down style. Like it looks like very good quality. Yeah, it so looks fantastic. It smells really it good. It smells right? very We've good. Seen other people with food that looked really good. Somebody's celebrating their birthday here. So if they're celebrating their birthday, that must mean something good. Very nice. I feel like it's also very authentic because they have like a sign here in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know for sure what's happening here, but it probably just means we're in for a delicious meal. Yeah. I have two observations about this restaurant. What? One, these like banners here kind of remind me of the um, the Mexico Pavilion, so that screams authenticity. Number two, if even Mr. Pollo himself, the chicken, is eating chicken, it must be pretty good. I'll tell you, I didn't get chicken, but I feel like if anything, the atmosphere is here, the, the experience is here. There's a big fork. There's a big the fork right there. I guess you'll need the big fork. Somebody got a burrito and it looked huge. Yeah, yeah. So you'll need like one of those giant forks. Or if food is starting to arrive here, Matt. Got a burrito. I think this is a um, steak burrito. Yeah. Uh, but it looks really good. It's a decent it's size. It's big. You need give you a little guacamole you need with the it. giant fork. Yeah, yeah. It. yeah. Our other guest actually got the burrito quesadilla, which looks really good. Like the tortilla looks great. It's very cheesy. Got a little cross section on my burrito here. You can see it has steak, rice, beans, cheese. I feel like none of us got chicken. Yeah. And this is Mr. Pollo. Yeah. So well, we, we wanted to honor Mr. Pollo by not eating him. Nice guy. And here's Goose. You just got, what'd you get in it? I got um, chorizo. Oh, that sounds so, good. This looks really good. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a try right here. It's very heavy. That's incredibly hot. Yeah. That's a very good burrito. There's a look at the inside of the chorizo. Yeah, there's the chorizo itself. It looks good. This is great. Well, that was so good. I'm glad we ended up coming here. This was surprising. It's just like one of those restaurants. Just, on the side of this plaza here. Yeah. But like, it was really good. It was great. I wish there was one of these closer to us because there's so many things on the menu I want to try. I don't think this we'll place is a back. chain. No, if I don't it think is, so. I don't know, but yeah. this is good. This is the perfect accompaniment to your antiquing. I think this was great. All right, we've had a great day so far. We went to the Lakeland Antique Mall. We went to Mr. Pollo. We've had a lot of fun, this but the good. fun is not over yet. We came just 15 minutes down the road to this place called Dinosaur World. You can see they have like all kinds of dinosaurs. I think they have a lot of dinosaurs in there. I read online they also have mini golf. What do you think, dude? This is like a roadside attraction. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. This looks great. We were just looking to see what's around the area. And this looks amazing. Apparently it's like a full attraction. Yeah, so there's gonna... dinosaurs, there's mini golf, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> 
I don't know. I like dinosaurs, so I feel like we're just gonna explore, see what we run into. When you do come in, they do have a gift shop with all kinds of Dinosaur World branded stuff, which I like. I feel like I could spend like an hour in this store, yeah. but I feel like I'm, I'm excited. I want to see the actual dinosaurs, so I feel mm. like we'll have to come back here afterwards, but what a way to start the experience. This is great. Look at that, we're just... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh, look. Oh, it's decorated for Halloween, too. Oh, this is well, we have made it into Dinosaur World here. This is awesome. We got our tickets. It was $25. I think a little bit more. Like, it was fifty-one fifty for two people. Well worth Something it. Like a, yeah. Look at this. So far, it looks like it is. Like, what an entrance. Look, yeah. you see all the dinosaurs everywhere. Mm -hmm. You see all the spooky spiders on a dinosaur. Yeah. Also, when we came in, they gave us this little thing. It's like a little voting thing. And if and you we... vote on your favorite Halloween scene, they give you a free prize when you leave. I didn't know so this was involved. Cool. Yeah, I Who didn't knows? know. Maybe it'll be worth $25 just for the prize. Also, it includes mini golf. Yeah. Which, I mean, she circled on here where we can go right there for mini yeah. golf. So from what I understand, the whole layout of this place, there's lots of photo ops, there's lots of dinosaurs you can encounter, mm -hmm. playgrounds, and also just opportunities to learn about dinosaurs. It looks like there's also a museum. I think it's that building right over there. And then a fossil dig. I think that costs like $3 extra. We didn't do that. And then the dino walk. I think that's kind of like the main, like you walk through and see the dinos. Look at the ceiling. They're redoing the ceiling. Oh, they are, yeah. I, I guess one of the dinosaurs got loose or something Probably. and like broke their ceiling. Mm -hmm. But Look at these guys. They're oh. having a spooky picnic. Oh, very spooky. They've been having that picnic for a long time, it looks like. <laughs> well, at least they have the dinosaur mugs, which mm -hmm. is pretty fun. And so this here on your left immediately when you walk in is scene one of what we're supposed to be voting for. I don't know how many different scenes there's going to be. But this is, there's seven scenes. This is the vacay of the dead scene. So I kind of like this one. Look, they're all on vacation. They're having a, a good time. They're in like beach chairs and stuff. Oh, and you can see, so this is what's happening right now. It's the Scarasaurus Spooktacular from September 23rd to October 31st. I'm glad we came now. This is pretty cool. I think this is, this isn't a scene, but this is my favorite decoration. Look, they're riding the dinosaurs and they, they have like a lasso, so they're, they're cowboys, they're skeleton cowboys. I'll say we've only taken a few steps in this attraction, mm -hmm. and I immediately wish I bought an annual pass, yeah. because this is great. Mm -hmm. I'd like to come back like other seasons too, maybe for Christmas. Oh, like that would be Santa's cool if they do for Christmas, dinosaurs. yeah. I don't know, this is great. They also have a playground here for children 12 and under. I think it is worth noting that this closes a little bit before the park. When's the park close? Five? Five, yeah. I think this closes five. at 445, yeah. Yeah. so a little bit before the park, they shut this down. And this is interesting. So this is the fossil dig thing. I think it was only $3 extra onto your ticket. It says, welcome to the fossil dig. You get to find as many fossils as you can while you're in there until the attendant calls time. And then when you're finished, you can keep three of your favorite fossils. So that's kind of neat. we just go over there. It's not happening right now, so we can't really show much, but it's a kind of cool idea. It's a weird day though. It's very windy. Yeah, yeah. That tombstone just fell over yeah, yeah. With the wind. So very, very spooky. Goo is going to educate us on this dinosaur here. You want to say what it's called? It's the Uoplocelus. Very nice. That, that, Very that's good what pronunciation. It says. But basically, there's different like giant statues of all these different dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of teaches you about them, so you can walk around. It shows how to say it pronounced, so mm. you can say it like I did. So this is great. I love this. It looks like this is where the Jurassic mini golf is. I'll say I don't know if we're going to do it because it's not like the holes are kind of small. But I mean, I mean, it's free. It's included. You don't have to do it. You're paying the same price either way. Yeah. So I, I feel like it's it's a very scenic course. You can go see the dinosaurs. Yeah, play. that is true. Yeah, very, very fun. Look at this. Apparently, Dinosaur World hasn't even started yet. We haven't entered it. This if, is the entrance to Dinosaur World. If it hasn't started already, we're in for a treat because yeah. it's been great so far. But if you can see on the map, that's we're right we here. Are. And we have this much left to explore. That's a good amount. So yeah. we're just getting started, but this is great. Yeah. So many dinosaurs, skeletons, yeah. spooky things. What more could you want? There are some fossils along the way here too. I don't know what kind of dinosaur that is, it doesn't say. That's kind of cool, like some hidden stuff. There's also some cars driving by. Here. Yeah, yeah. Very authentic. Look at this one. I don't know if they set it up like this on purpose, but it kind of looks like he's eating the tree. Like the food is hanging right there and he's turned towards it. They have like plants. Oh, they have, you can learn about like, the plants too. That's interesting. I guess flowers that like the dinosaurs used to be with. Huh. That's pretty cool. And as you get deeper into it, it does feel very like foresty or like, I don't even know, like prehistoric almost. 
like the way you would see in movies where there's dinosaurs. Like Jurassic Park or something. Yeah, yeah. Like if they're in the forest. And also, there's there's more skeletons. Actually. Yeah, yeah. This is scene three right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is a good scene, but I don't really see how it relates to, to dinosaurs. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to get my vote. I feel like it's going to be hard to beat the first one. Because yeah. it's also like the grand entrance, mm -hmm. but also themed perfectly. Yeah. So, I don't know. These are great, though. I appreciate this. You can see they also have some safety information here for us. In the unlikely event of a dinosaur attack, please observe the following guidelines. Run and keep running. Are you ready to run, Goo? That's comforting. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. They really do have a lot of photo ops here. Look, they have this bench with the dinosaur world backdrop behind it. What do you think, Goo? Is it comfortable? It's very comfortable. This is great. They should sell these. Yeah. And get it from my house. Maybe we can get one at the um, the antique mall. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say we were at the antique mall earlier, but we'll have to come back like every single day and like mm -hmm. look for this thing. Mm -hmm. but this is cool. <laughs> look at this thing. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get in it. I don't know. Hold you want to try? Matt's putting his bag down. <laughs> oh, it looks like a tight squeeze, honestly. <laughs> All right, I'm good. There's Matt. I feel like there's photo ops everywhere, but you can see Matt is being eaten by a dinosaur. Yeah. You should run. They said to run. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like at this point, they've given us a choice. We can either go that way for the giants of the Ice Age. Or also that way. Or that way for the, for bone the boneyard. Yard, or that way for the restroom. But there are things this way. There's arrows pointing that way. So I guess we'll just walk around, see where we go, and hopefully we don't get attacked by dinosaurs. Yeah. Looking at the map, it seems like this is kind of like naturally the next place to go on our way. This is where the mammoths are, the giants of the Ice Age. Oh. I guess oh. that's like a mammoth a skeleton. Gosh, wow, wow, that's scary. There you go. We're going to go know. in here. We're going to see the mammoths. I feel like the spooky the decorations are really like enhancing this. Yeah, right? yeah. It's more horrifying. But I'll say we did come, what is today, like a week? It's Monday, isn't it? Yeah, we did come on a weekday, so I feel like if you came on a weekend, there'd be a lot more kids around here. Maybe. But, like, the whole place is to ourselves, which is kind of crazy. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a cave with, like, um, like yeah. wall paint. It says people existed during the time of the mammoths, and they carved cave paintings wow. of the mammoths. Oh, so, well, there you go. Yeah, they're also showing us how to enter. Which yeah. Is nice guy. And there's a carving of a mammoth there. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's carved, too. Yeah. It says mammoths are extinct elephant-like animals that were adapted to cold weather. These herbivore plant eaters had long, dense hair and under fur, large ears, but much smaller than modern-day elephants, a long snout, and long tusks. Very interesting. Oh. I'll say today is a colder day. Yeah, yeah. Like, the wind is out. Yeah, so, so it's, it's of... a good day for the mammoths. Yeah. I feel like this is cool because you can walk around, you can learn about all these creatures, and you can kind of see, like, right there it shows how big they oh, are. Oh, that is pretty cool, yeah. yeah. So, like, these look to be, like, life scale. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what they would look like if they were standing here. Yeah. So, this is pretty cool. I'm glad we got to see this. Over here, the Garden of Skulls is another scene for the one that we need to vote on. What do you think, Goo? I feel like all these, all the people that worked on these, they all did a great job. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the people at scene one had an unfair advantage. That's because true, because there were a lot of dinosaurs. There were a lot of there. dinosaurs. It was the entrance area. They had a lot of room. Mm -hmm. Compared to this small little area over here. It's pretty cool, but like, I, you can't compare to that. But this is cool. There's dinosaurs everywhere. There's skeletons along with them. This is pretty horrifying. Over here is the boneyard. I think it's just like a bunch of sand. Like you can go dig for fossils in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like the fossils yeah. are attached to the ground. Kind of like the thing at um, Animal Kingdom. Or T-Rex over yeah. at Disney Springs. Oh, that's true, yeah. As well. Yeah. This is, I know, this is definitely just kind of a walkthrough thing. But it's just fun. I love seeing the dinosaurs. I love learning about the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I think this is great. As we get further in, as it turns out, every single trash can, they're all the themed ones like this. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. Look at this. This is the leg of an Ultrasaurus <laughs> Rex. That's big. You know, this place is doing pretty well, making sure their dinosaurs are to scale. Mm -hmm. But some of them, they cannot fit yeah. in this space. So we just get a leg of it right there. I guess so. so. That's pretty massive, though. Like, imagine one of those just walking around. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Another thing I've noticed, there are plenty of picnic tables throughout Dinosaur World. And it did say online they don't sell food here, but you're welcome to bring your own. You're welcome to bring a picnic and just, like, have, have lunch out here. It's nice. It, it's very nice out yeah. here. You can eat with the dinosaurs, which is pretty cool. Yeah. 
I like this. Look at this thing. That's kind of funny looking. Skeletosaurus. Skel Skeletos, yeah. yeah. For these, it's Skeletosaurus. It's a plant eater. So yeah. There's plants all around. And he's right in front of the skeleton garden. I don't know what that is. It kind of sounds Halloween-ish, yeah. but it's permanent. So <laughs> maybe we'll go and maybe there'll be some skeletons. Maybe there'll be some spooky things along the way too. I don't know. Oh yeah, so this just, it's like, um yeah, dinosaur skeletons. Very interesting. There's a, Look at that head. It's like a T-Rex. Wow. Is it? It's a Tyrannosaurus, yeah. Also amongst all the skeletons, we found this photo op. It's gonna be a lot today of me trying to fit in two <laughs> ops that I should not fit in. Yeah, but apparently, I don't know if this is now or at one point, AT&T was the proud s supporter of Dinosaur World. So there's Matt yeah. inside the mammoth here. You wanna go on the um, other thing? I don't think I can. <laughs> Maybe we should both try. Maybe to get no, in. but it's not gonna work. <laughs> But either way, this this experience is sponsored by AT&T, so there you go. I guess this is the skeleton garden portion of this, because there's a little garden. There's a skeleton there of a proto... Ceratops? Protoceratops, yeah. There's what it looks like in the back, too. So oh, yeah. Oh, there's the whole dinosaur, dinosaur yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. And then over here, we have the Brachiosaurus. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like the way they do that. They have yeah. the skeleton. They have a picture of it. You kind of compare it to yeah. see the difference. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, Goose, stop! What? You're entering the carnivore boardwalk. You what's can only enter if you dare. Do what, you dare? What's it? What's it? Experience exhibit may be too graphic for small children. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I didn't know anything Should about this. Should I be this. afraid? I don't know. I kind of want to go now. <laughs> There's a dinosaur crossing. Yeah, you got to watch out for dinosaurs too. I, I guess we'll go and hopefully we'll survive. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you guys updated, but you never know what you're going to find at Dinosaur World. I think I see what they mean. Look at that. Hold on to me. Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit graphic, isn't so it? Every character, every single dinosaur we've seen has been not carnivore so far. I guess so. So now we're seeing them carnivore? The ones that would eat us. That's nice. <clears throat> this one's not eating anyone, but he looks like he's ready to. Looks like he's a hungry boy right there. Nice guy. Are you ready to be eaten? No, we'll just keep going. I think this is probably my favorite one. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. He's like got him by the neck. I, you can also see this by the road too. Yeah, yeah. The road is right there. But I couldn't see that this was happening. <laughs> I just saw dinosaurs. Poor truck is driving by. Yeah, that's yeah. a dinosaur world truck, by the way. Yeah. And they're probably looking and seeing this dinosaur eating another dinosaur and wondering what's going on. And this one's pretty graphic too. Look, you can even see the bone. Look, they got this dinosaur wide open. Thanks. It's crazy. I feel like this should have been the Halloween exhibit. Yeah, this yeah. Is pretty, this is pretty horrifying. Mm -hmm. There's dinosaurs all around. They're attacking. So far, we're safe so far, which is good. Yeah. This one's like a jump scare right here. Look like he's he's ready to lunge at you. It looks like a bird. Yeah. He has like wings. He's ready to come at you. Oh. Well, Goo, looks like we made it. Was, what do you think? That was pretty horrifying, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if I was a kid, I would be pretty horrified. Probably. But. There's, there's everything you could want here. You can learn about all the animals. You can learn about all the dinosaurs. This is pretty cool. All right, we have come on scene five of the Halloween decorations. I think this one comes the closest to the first scene. Look, there's actually dinosaurs like involved. This one's eating a skeleton. There's skeletons riding them. You're next. Oh, oh gosh. That's horrifying. <laughs> This one's pretty good. It yeah. comes close to first yeah. one. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's hard to compete, as I said earlier, yeah. with the first one, but this is this is probably second for me. Oh, gosh. We found another photo op here. You think you can get in? Let me try. Oh, no. This is it's good. another one where you have to crouch down a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out. Let me try. We're going to have to call the jaws of life. Ow, ow. I don't think you'll be able to get into this. I don't know. I'll Here. see. You want to take a picture too? Yeah. So, so far we've done like all this portion over here. And then we went along this way, along the outside. There's the we boardwalk. did this thing here. We did the boardwalk, <laughs> the spooky boardwalk there. So now we need to do like this, um, this circular thing here with the bridge through the center. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go on the center bridge here and then cut around this loop like that and then continue to loop around and then it'll bring us back to the entrance so that's probably our game plan for the rest of the um the rest of the dinosaur thing so apparently this is an island oh so we're gonna see the island see the dinosaurs on the island there you go there you go looks like there's also fish in these waters here you can buy some fish food for 25 cents 
or if you don't have change, they also sold bags of it in the gift shop for a dollar. Oh, I noticed. Yeah, so you can feed the fish. I'll say if you come here though, make sure you do bring your change. Yeah. There's lots of change opportunities, so look into that. We're going on to the Dionacus Dion Island. I don't want to say that, but we're going. You can't go on about how I pronounce things and show that. Well, most things I can pronounce, but yeah. this, I don't know. I don't, who knows? Well, if you're if you're a dinosaur expert, be sure to let us know in the comments how to pronounce that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It shows right here the Dino Dinoni Dino, Dino, Dinonicus, I think is what it is. I guess they're meat eaters. Look, this is like the the carnivore thing all over again. There's no warning. System. Yeah, there weren't. It's pretty gruesome there. Look at this weird thing. Look, it's it's like out of a cartoon or something. It's something a child would draw. Look at the um, alligator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of, though. both those are terrifying. Yeah. I don't know, I don't like that. It's like a swan or something. The swans have like long necks like snakes. So just to show some context for where we are, we're back by this bench that was by the beginning. So this is like the entrance area over here. That's where we just came from. If we go this way, it continues on the path that we were on and loops back around. So it's just one big circle over yeah. here. I'm glad they gave us a map because yeah. it's a little bit confusing. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know, it's cool. This thing looks even more horrifying. But look at it here, let me see if I can zoom in. There it is. Look at that, that's like some kind of alien or something. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I don't know, there's all kinds of flying dinosaurs around us too, so I don't feel very safe, this is kind of horrifying. I like that they have a lot of dinosaurs here, not just the ones that you would typically see. Yeah. Like there's ones that I've never seen before. Some of these look like cartoon characters or <laughs> Something you would see like in a movie if they were like at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And they were trying to make it really scary. That's what these look like. I feel like Dinosaur World has done their research. Yeah. They know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll learn something here, which is great. This is interesting. You can see there's a sign for a dinosaur here. And there is no dinosaur. But the sign says, Missing Carnotaur. Last seen before Hurricane Ian. Caution. So I like the way they do the theming here. Like yeah. they... They say it's missing. Caution. It, it's, it's, it's loose. Yeah, I For guess all we so. know, it could come after us. Yeah, yeah. Pretty scary. Good thing we're almost done. Yeah. There's another little building exhibit over here. I don't know exactly oh, what this is. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, so it's talking about fossils. Oh, what are fossils? Are alligators dinosaurs? Ooh. There's a thing over here talking about how there weren't really dinosaurs in Florida because it was covered by water at the time. But you can find woolly mammoth saber-toothed tigers and giant ground sloth fossils. So that's what you'll see here, fossils that they found of those animals. And we have come across scene six over here. You can see there's like skeletons hanging from the dinosaur all over the place. This is a pretty neat scene. It's a small area, but they have some pirates, some skeletons, some dinosaurs. I don't think, maybe it's third place actually for yeah. me. And with that, I think that brings us back over to kind of by the front. So we looped around we looped around this thing here. Here's where we are. We already saw all this, we saw all that. And here's the entrance. So I think we pretty much saw everything. Or yeah. there's the entrance, but this was where the mammoths were. We saw that too. Yeah. I feel like this is pretty cool. I'm glad we got to show all the different dinosaurs, all the different horrifying elements. Yeah. We'll see, I'm, I'm excited for the gift shop though. <laughs> there's a sign here that says, this is scene seven. I don't really see anything terrifying other than that giant balloon animal um, swan looking thing. That. There's a skeleton right there, but I still think it's probably the swan looking thing because that's the most terrifying thing I've seen all day. I'm gonna have nightmares. Yeah, so if you're voting for scariest, it's probably scene seven. Yeah, as far as well done and very, very spooky and fun, probably one, five, or whatever, six. Is that yeah, what it was? I yeah. think so. And I did forget there's one more thing we did not show the Doom Museum up here by the front of the park. Look at this sign it says realistic animatronic dinosaurs in use. Some small children may be frightened. That's kind of interesting. Should we go in and see? It does close early too, just oh. to keep note. So let's go now. Four. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I feel like this Doom Museum is kind of essential to come in first. It'll answer a lot of your different questions. There's like questions on the walls and there's artifacts and things to kind of set it up for you, tell you where the dinosaurs came from, how the dinosaurs lived and acted, where did the dinosaurs go? It's pretty cool, honestly, but yeah. I feel like it's a good, Kind of beginning to your adventure before you see all the dinosaurs, mm, but yeah. this is this is pretty awesome. Oh, I've got some dinosaurs. Oh gosh! Oh, wow! Look that at that! Yeah. Look at all these. They all 
This is crazy. I don't know. Do they all like move like that? Or is it, oh, they do. Gosh. <laughs> I guess they're like motion activated. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Pretty cool. Good, good details on them. They're making noises. Yeah. I'm kind of horrified. At the end here, as I said, you do get some theories about where the dinosaurs might have gone. I think the running winner is they were abducted by aliens. Mm. What do you think, you? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They should have animatronic aliens. Yeah. yeah. That would be pretty fun. So apparently there were two museums. We yeah. were just going in one of them. We went in the museum. This is yeah. the doom. Of the so, dinosaurs museum. Yeah. yeah. So you can have some different like fossils. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Tracking their bones, you kind of have to guess who made it. Um, if we can go there today and check it out, it's too big to be collected. So it seems like this is mostly just like more like bones and yeah, skeletons. Yeah, like showing the doom of the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. What's left of them. But honestly, there's so many details here, so many things to check out. So I, I would say for sure, go to these museums first, especially since they close early. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, well, we turned in our votes for the scenes. I voted for scene five. Goo voted for scene one. We got our prizes here. They're actually pretty cool. This is, like, cooler than I thought it was going to be. I thought we'd get, like, a little plastic dinosaur or something, but we got these bracelets here. It's pretty nice. But since we have finished our ex exploration of the dinosaurs, we finally made it to the gift shop. Mm -hmm. And there's all kinds of things to see here. We're going to kind of look around. You can buy figurines of dinosaurs. Yeah. I don't know, There's this is a huge store, so we're just gonna look around and see what we run into. I feel like I need to get a Dinosaur World shirt because <laughs> they have a lot of branded yeah. stuff like I was showing earlier. Yeah. These are pretty cool, so it's just like a shirt. Yeah. But on the sleeve it says Dinosaur World, mm -hmm. Florida. I like it. Yeah. I feel like they have dinosaur everything. They have dinosaur like hats, helmets, dinosaur slippers, dinosaur movies. Look, you can even like buy like documentaries on dinosaurs, so. You can bring the learning home with you, which is pretty cool. They also do have like real dinosaur fossils you can get here. So like for $20, you can get like a tooth. This one's from a shark, so I guess it's not really that, that fancy, but this one's like an actual fossil. This is $50. And if you do buy one, they are buy one, get one. So that, that's pretty cool that they have these. Well, there we go. That was a miracle. I walked out of the store without buying a single thing. Yeah. Which I don't know, I'm kind of sad. But yeah, the shirts were nice, yeah. but like $25, I don't, want, I don't yeah. know if we really need one. So we'll pass for this time. But I think we had a great time here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some dinosaurs, seeing all the other adventures we got into. If you guys could please do us a favor and make sure you hit that like button. Every like is a huge help, kind of shares out our video, gets more people watching. Also make sure you subscribe as well. We do lots of videos. We love to bring you guys along on adventures here, beyond, theme parks, everything. So yeah. that'd be great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. That's the Triceratops yeah. right there. And you're you. And we both wish a goo to each and one of you. Hopefully you all have a great day. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys later.